Wes. Today we're gonna go over drum changeover between uh, two different products that sell two pound, half pound foam, foam decodings. Uh, this is gonna be the procedure you're gonna wanna follow to reduce your amount of waste. So, first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure our machine is off. It's not heated up, we want it to be cold. And then we're gonna come over to our transfer pump here. Make sure that our needle valve is in the off position. So turn it all the way off. Like so. Unhook our airline. And make sure that our valve is turned off at the Y strainer on the reactor itself. Now that everything's disconnected and shut off, we're gonna pull the pump out of the drum. We're going to place it in a clean five gallon pail. If you're doing this process by yourself, um, it would be very handy to have a strap to strap your pump to the drum so it doesn't fall over when in the process. Okay, so now that our pump is all strapped in, we're gonna go ahead and start um, pumping some air into the system. So we're gonna pump air into the system, create an air buffer in our, air buffer in our line. And what that's gonna do is allow us to pump all our old B-side chemical that's in our system in our hose into the drum and pump in our new stuff without them actually touching. So first step is to uh, hook up your transfer pump again, hook your air up. Like so, we're gonna open the B-side ball valve again that we close on the reactor. This guy down here. Open that. And we're gonna grab our spray hose. So this is an important step right here. When you go to bleed your lines off into your drums, please make sure you're doing your B-side into the B-side, B-side and A-side. You don't wanna mess that up. So simply hold it over top of your drum. Grab your ball driver, open the valve. Careful as there may be some pressure in there. Like so. A little bit of chemical coming out and you just wanna gently open your transfer pump so it slowly starts stroking. Give that about 40 to 50 strokes to create a good air buffer in there. Okay, so we got about 40 or 50 strokes of uh, air pumped into our resin line here. We're gonna shut our pump off, close our valve on our hose end, stop all flow. Now that we have an air buffer in the line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unstrap our uh, pump, go into our new drum, and we're gonna start pumping the new material through. Make sure you give it a good wipe, get any residual off the pump. And we'll go ahead and drop the pump into our new drum. Our breather vents open a bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the pump on in our new drum of chemical and we're gonna continue pumping our old chemical, which is still in the line, into our old drum so we don't waste any. 
we are gonna pump until we get some air bubbles. That's our air buffer in the line. And that's gonna tell us that the new chemical is coming through. So we're gonna go back to our hose again. Once again, make sure you do the B side into your B side drum. Open the valve. And slowly turn on your transfer. So now you can see we have our old chemical still coming through into our old drum. As soon as we see some sputtering or some air bubbles coming out, we will uh, simply quickly go into our five gallon pail here. Minimal waste until we have solid chemical coming through. That's our new stuff. And then we'll go into our new drum just to make sure we have no air bubbles left and that would be a complete swap. As you can see, we're getting some air bubbles out of our line. That's our air buffer that we put in there. So what we're going to want to do, close off our, our valve. Okay, so now that our valve's closed, we're going to simply just go over a waste pail. We're going to bleed out the remaining, remaining air until we have a solid stream. And then we'll go over our new drum with our new chemical. see those air bubbles coming out of there. Okay, so you can see we have a fairly solid stream. I'm gonna go ahead and close the valve and go over our new drum to finish off the swap. Okay, so to uh, finish off the swap over, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bleed our B-side line into our new B-side drum, which now has the new chemical flowing through. We're just gonna make sure we have zero air bubbles left in the line. To do that, we'll just go into our vent hole in the drum, B side line. We're gonna let that pump until we have no more air bubbles in the system. Once that's done, the swap is complete. Okay, so we're pumping into our uh, new drum here with our new chemical. We have a solid stream coming out, no air bubbles, so I'm going to go ahead and shut that guy off, which completes the swap. So by following this procedure, we've recaptured all our old material and uh, basically put it back into our drum. All, we're, all we did is follow that air bubble until it starts coming out the end of the hose. That tells us that that's our transition period where we have a little bit of waste chemical. We can go into our waste pail. And then uh, as soon as we have a solid stream over our new drum, we keep going until we make sure there's no air bubbles left in the line. Uh, we close that off and that swap is done. So now uh, we've done our B side. The next, uh, next drum will be our A side there. Same exact process. Uh, as soon as that is swapped over, you're good to spray your new material. So by following this procedure, you're gonna greatly reduce your amount of waste and save, save a bunch of money. If you have any questions, give us a call.